this is gonna be one of those videos. What is it, people? I hope you're having a good day. As probably I'm not having a good day. Nor are my friends have a good day. In fact, there have been personally, and I feel this is my opinion, I feel like they have been personally attacked by these companies and a false person. I'll get back to that and eventually. But let's start with my buddy, Mr. Krenixia. Now he's currently right now on, the, and trust me, I'll have, a, I'll have the man explain how many strikes he has currently. Let me let him say his words. Oh my God, it has finally happened. Are you ready for this? We've hit 10 copyright strikes. We hit the double digit now, fam. All right, count them. Let's see what we got. Today's menu is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I've. I'm speechless. It's insane to me. <laughs> it's not normal. This is like, or like weeks. That someone can get 10 strikes in a matter of weeks. Like, like, does that sound normal to you? Does that sound reasonable for whatever company to just strike a channel? Boom, quickly. With that much strikes, are you you're basically overkilling the person at this point. You just basically, you're on overkill. Because the thing is, yes, YouTube has that whole three strikes you out rule, policy. If you have three strikes, your channel gets terminated. And whatever ch channel you get will also be unavailable to do. But yet, YouTube has allowed these companies, and trust me, there are a mixture of companies by, as you read here, to abuse the system, to allow something this insane to continue, to your content creators, YouTube, and what's cr and what's really weird, and this is where I kind of you know see some form of connection, is that when Misty got his first two strikes, YouTube put out a statement blog explaining that they were updating their copyright system and how you know someone files for copyright and all that kind of case and if you look at it now I think YouTube has done its change change for the worse abusing the system taking advantage of this faulty system to ruin someone's hard work and I've been with Misty f since the beginning, you know, back around 2014 when he had his channel. And it's sad to see that his hard work will vanish because of YouTube's inaccurate responses, lack of communication, and no, some form of transparency. It's really insane to me that YouTube has allowed something like this to continue. And I also want to talk about two other individuals that has been hit with a false person. I will explain that right now. So YouTube, so YouTube not only has been striking Mystic Crenexia, but they have been striking a couple YouTubers from whatever games, games, anime, reviews, whatever the case may be, that they've been getting strikes. But Anime Uproar, who is 
you know, one of those YouTubers that I really enjoyed as recently as well as that I really like to listen to the Rant Cafe. But then, you know, and I like his videos where he's very constructive and he analyzes on any chapter of a particular anime. This guy really does his homework and really does a good job. But unfortunately, Anime Uproar has been facing, as well as somebody else, have been facing the same person that has been falsely claiming their videos and to falsely strike them. What's crazy is that, you know, and he explains very, very, very well, is that if you end up, you know, facing their, you know, strikes, you can do a counter notification. But, unfortunately, your private information, your personal information, goes to them. But YouTube doesn't doesn't give you their information, which really is upside down. Especially that if things that are falsely striked and firstly falsely claimed, you really wanted to have their information because. Again, it's illegal to claim something that's not yours and to abuse a system that has been faulty for quite a while and then take advantage of it to not only destroy a channel, but as well as destroying their hard work that they've been working on their videos for how long that they've been on YouTube for years and years and years. But let me explain this to you. This email is a fake let me explain why because emails like that is from somebody that they're impersonating a company that they think that they're a representative of a company and then just basically fall out the form and then take down a video with no reason whatsoever especially what enemy app was says no time step, no warning, no attempt to contact us or any response when we contact them. That's the thing that really pisses me off. Another YouTuber that's been hit by the same person by the name of Anime Balls Deep has been hit by the same person. That's the thing that I really, that they lost their damn minds. Just like this person who said this. Have you lost your damn mind? Espe yeah, absolutely. It is unfortunate that there has been nothing done. Even though that YouTube says, thanks for reaching out, we will investigate, and eventually we'll contact you via DM for the next steps. Or they will let you know what happens or what updates. But yet, they cannot do anything to this this person with that e fake email that falsely represents this person's self as a comp part of the company which by the way Suisha is a publishing company in Japan that publishes like shonen manga as well as other manga to the overseas but every company in Japan, marketing, publishing, anime studios, they all have the same email at the very end, at co.jp, at company.japan, or corporate.japan, however you want to put it, whatever you want to put as. But essentially, they don't use Gmail. They don't use Hotmail. They do not even use Yahoo. So, why? Because each company in Japan has their own database that they can have their own email addresses that fits into their company. They don't need these other email providers such as Yahoo, Hotmail, Gmail. Because, again... They rather have their own personal email addresses on their personal servers. And what's insane to me 
is that YouTube hasn't done anything to crack down on those individuals. Even though that they said in the past, we will crack down on impersonators. But here we are. Someone impersonating as a company, striking down people's videos, as well as ruining lives. Ruining their hard work. So in conclusion, I just want to say this. We need to get things fixed on YouTube because a lot of times that they try to fix or they say they're going to implement a system, it ends up being the opposite and they ends up hurting the content creators, hurting the small man and as well as, and this is going to be true, that they don't fucking check any mistake that they implement on their rules or policy or whatever the case may be that they throw out that there, anybody can find a loophole and end up you know, abusing the system and, and unfortunately for years YouTube has not done anything for any whatsoever for the systems and to fix it and, and prime example Mr. Kronexia he is facing 10 strikes at this moment I don't know how many he has now um, I hope any of the strikes he has gets resolved and as well as being taken care of because it's insanity that YouTube has allowed somebody that doesn't own the content or as well as a company abusing the system and throw all at once and get shit fucking insane. You know, and this is really unfortunate that YouTube has to implement a system that one fact checks everybody that puts out a copyright claim form that they are legitimate that they own the fucking whatever they oh, they're claiming as well as if they're a representative of a company show them evidence that they're part of the company it's not hard but yet youtube has makes it so hard that everybody that gets hit by whatever company and they've get that checked for themselves when they try to you know do a counter notification and finds out that it's an impersonator impersonating a company or impersonating whoever big youtuber whatever the case may be that they impersonate that person and mass strike mass flag of the videos I want you guys, I want, really want you guys, I'll provide everyone down in the description below. Please check them out, give them some love and support, and if there's any way you can help them out within this situation, especially right now where it's almost to Christmas, I want you guys to please help them out. You know, We as a community, we need to help each other out. Regardless if you are big or small content creators, we need to help each other out. We need to look out for each other as well as we need to make sure that whomever is dealing with the situation that we help them out regardless if they're big giant youtubers or that they're small youtubers we have to help each other out because if youtube is not going to do anything to fix this then hopefully we can hope you guys have an amazing day night whenever you watch this and i want you guys to remember to stay awesome and as well Love you all. Thank you. Give up on my way.